kind of wing this and hope that I got enough space in my phone. Uh, so I'm Craig Dabler, and I've got this new system for vacuum casting. It also does uh, uh, mixing investment. You would mix it, you can put it in here, and you can draw out the bubbles and everything. So I'm just going to go over it really quick. Uh, it does not come with a vacuum pump. That is something that you are going to have to get yourself. I got this one at Harbor Freight. It was uh, it was like 150 bucks or so, and for 21 bucks you can get a uh, a warranty on it. And I've had it two years and it's worked very well. Uh, the only mistake I made is I put too much oil in, and every time I turn it on it smokes. But other than that, it works really good. So the next thing is. This system of mine uses a cook pot. It's uh, aluminum. It's thick aluminum. And it uses a, a polycarbonate top. And I had these uh, water jet cut. And every single one of them has little scratches on it. And the company said, too bad. So I have a whole bunch of these. And if you get one from me, it's going to have some scratches. That's best I can do. Uh, I also have a whole bunch of these gaskets and they, they fit over the polycarbonate and they sit on the top like this. So what you do is you take your uh, mixing bowl, it gets put in here and then you can uh, you can you turn on the vacuum pump and, and do the investing. So, but that's not the main Part of this whole whole idea um, I started you know a lot of the beginners have problems with blowouts and that's because number one they don't know how to properly set up a flask and what they're doing is is from the top of the wax to the top of the investment it's too short and so when it gets put through the, uh, the oven and everything, through burnout, and then it gets set down for, for vacuum casting. It's so thin up here, it, it, it sucks through and it goes right into the machine. Um, that's one of the problems, there's other problems. We'll discuss those as we go. So I wanted to come up with a system that would work on the vacuum table uh, that would help people that are beginning that get a lot of blowouts and then when they have a blowout it's a big pain in the butt to try and fix so I created some parts here I make these myself this is a silicone part that fits on here and as this is tightened it expands and so if you were doing your vacuum casting that would sit on there you put your flask down and then the suction would pull it down through here and so I thought you know what we need to have something that will catch the investment and mostly it'll catch the molten metal and I kept thinking you know what could I use that could go on the bottom that the molten metal could land in and not not hurt the metal because you don't you don't want to contaminate the metal and you also want to have the metal go down to something so that it can cool um, without hurting anything so I came up with using my red clay for sand casting this is a real fine clay and it gets put through here you only need about a half inch and then this cover gets put on the end and when it creates a vacuum uh, this suctions to here so I'll show you this and you know the funny thing is this washer right here I'm not even going to tell you where I get this it's kind of funny but I just thought of this about 10 minutes before I came up with this originally this was going to go flat on there and I thought hey I wonder if this will work 
fits on there just perfectly. Um, and then this fits over that silicone piece that I make. And by turning it, it tightens it. And as it tightens it, it creates a really good seal. So what happens is you've got your casting sand down in here and you would not use that. And so inside here I have, I don't have the part here to show you, but there's a part in there that this fits onto. Push that in there, so quick release. And that part hinges around. And when it hinges around, it allows this to sit down on top of there really well. And so what I did is I took these rubber parts here and I made them so that they're drilled off center so that you can turn them and it tightens the top against the bottom. Now it doesn't work if you were to take it off uh, because you got that long cylinder on the bottom. So it's made to fit with something like this. You know, perhaps down the road I'll make some long legs, I don't know. That goes on there, and so if you're going to do your investment casting, um, that's how that works. You also have to have a filter, and the filter needs to be something that is positioned near the vacuum pump so that if anything does get through there, maybe sand particles, I don't think so, but possibly, or investment or whatever, it's not going to hurt your pump. Uh, that's really important. What I like about, about this particular filter is you can open the bottom, you can take that out, and you could clean it. Uh, and I haven't checked, but you can probably get other parts like that. And then that goes back on like that. Now this is an option. If you want to buy your own, you can buy your own. I, I don't care. This is an option. Buy your own. I, I don't care. Uh, another thing is the gauge. You know, the problem when you make things like this, you get too many parts and the price goes up. So I'm using parts that that work really well, but somebody want, might want a bigger gauge. So that's an option as well. Another thing that's an option is this. You can get a really nice glass one uh, with an orange gasket from a couple different companies and I'll, I'll let you know. Uh, I like the polycarbonate, but like I say, they, they all have like a scratch on them and it's nothing I can do about it. So. Anyways, I think that covers everything, but you know, say you had a blowout, so you could take this off, you've got to kind of loosen these things, you take that off, and the material is going to go down in here, and all you have to do, quick release, pop that off, now it's possible molten metal there's nothing I could do about that. It could stick to the brass fittings, but it could also be easily drilled out, and these parts are really inexpensive, so to change them is no big deal. The other thing, you got your uh, casting clay down here, the metal drops down, this can be taken apart, uh, and you can retrieve your, your metal. The other thing is that that part goes down in here, so the metal and the investment would literally have to drop, go back up, and go through, which is gonna, you know, unless it's a huge casting you're doing, chances of that are pretty minimal. So, anyways, that's my first video, and hopefully I covered everything. I think so, and we'll, we'll just go from there. All right, thank you.